Uh, bad call, but go for it. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> so we're just gonna jump right into it, huh? Something's gonna get real fucked up. We are drinking whiskey. I put gin on top of my gin. You're giggling about bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> You shaped your nutsack to play it with the void? <laughs> oh my god, we're recording. I'm trying to fill the void. <laughs> That's what you want. An alabaster smooth penis. <laughs> Zig and Larry ignore a topic. Mm -hmm. a, a main conversation is gold for us. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, this is uh, it's a little a little uh, pop guard for for the mic. So, that, uh, when so you I, don't get semen on it. Uh, exactly. I'm really excited um, to get to talk to you. And uh, I brought my old friend, my old friend Blue back. Welcome to Zig and Larry Ignore Topic. Uh, for you, it's been a week. For us, it's been a beer run. Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> I put extra vodka in that one. Larry is uh, still, still drinking Blue Mountain Dew and vodka. Uh... Blue Mountain Dew and Vodka, how many teeth do you need to party? <laughs> the answer is not as many as you think. <laughs> this episode brought to you by Blue Mountain Dew and Vodka. Yeah, Blue Mountain Dew and Vodka. Your sister won't mind. Mm, see, you knew you shouldn't have said it right before you... you yeah, you I hesitated. It. Yeah, you hesitated. You, you have to own it. You have to own bad Hold jokes. On. Blue but... Mountain Dew and Vodka, because your uncle's got to get to you somehow. See, that's better. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's well, not a better joke, but the delivery was obviously better. Ah, uh, mm, fuck that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing, so I have to assault you. <laughs> I, have I have, I have literally nothing going on for me, so I just have to make you feel bad to, to bump me up. Your, your, your uncle's fingers won't go up, won't go up your butt by themselves. <laughs> Blue Mountain Dew and vodka. In my experience, that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> they go right up there by themselves uh, without any help from you at all. <laughs> spit, <laughs> spit on them first. I'm trying to think of a more redneck alcoholic beverage than Blue Mountain Dew and vodka. It has to do with raccoon glands, but I don't know what exactly you mix with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I, I, I was going to say I'm not proud of it. It's not... I, I don't care. It It's tasty. Drink what you like. Yeah, no, I'm not saying don't drink what you like. I'm saying you're inventing new ways to make me upset. Yeah. <laughs> as much as possible. Well, when you hear drink what you like, I like Miller High Life. It's not a great beer, but I enjoy it. If somebody says to me, you know what, I'm going to have fish and I want Cabernet Sauvignon with the fish. You know what, drink what you like. It's not a pairing that I would do, but that's okay. I'm gonna put me here this uh, this pint of of lemon vodka in this blue Mountain Dew. Drink what you like, just don't do it in public or come near the children. <laughs> I think just that phrase alone is great advice. Don't come near the children. <laughs> blue Mountain Dew. Don't come near the children. <laughs> there it is. We figured it out. Mountain Dew. Write the check. Actually, that's a, that's a good point, isn't it? Mountain Dew. It's like it's called. The red one's called Code Red, as in, holy fuck, people are going to drink this shit. <laughs> Cold Red. Cold Red. It's like the old WoW chips with the Lester. Wow, my anus is leaking. <laughs> people are drinking this garbage. <laughs> yeah, this is... Yeah, this is, uh, this is high Mountain voltage, Dew, Mountain Dew. High voltage. Mountain, <laughs> Mountain Dew, because canine teeth are for pussies. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Who needs a good smile? <laughs> Mountain Dew. It's basically British. <laughs> it's it's a really long stretch because they have terrible teeth. I don't know. That's just, I, I I wasn't really happy with that. We can we can move on. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna cut all my bad jokes, but I'm definitely I'm gonna loop that one over and over again in the editing. <laughs> Put it in the uh, in the in the theme song. By the way, who? I don't think I even know. Who do we give props to for the theme song? Me. Well, I mean, you did the editing, but who did the, the oh, baby? I, I pulled sound clips and... Oh, really? That's all you? That's all me. Yeah, I put it all together. Oh. So I, I, in the editing software that we're using for the show, there are, 
it's kind of like Garage Band, where you have loops and and such. And no, um, even go ahead. What's that? I said that means nothing to me, but go ahead. I don't know. So I I just sat one night and was like, "Fuck it, we need a theme song. I'm gonna make one." And so I just put the theme song together. Ah, look at me. See, no, a I'm very proud of you because I I really enjoy it. B I thought that there was like some like female led band that might have like just thrown a couple of tracks together for us. See, I've been jerking off to you. End of sentence. For 20 years. (laughs) (laughs) It's goddamn blue. It's still goddamn blue. Don't choke. Goddamn toast me in the blue. If I change this light to red, it'd look purple. Mm Mm-hmm. Lord. All right. What shall we ignore, sir? You're you're literally grooming your beard in your own fucking. Okay, I just noticed so how, at yourself and how you silver. Like... We're just talking over each other. I love it. Uh huh. I just noticed how silver it was right there with this, especially with that lighting. You're just looking at your own white hair underneath your jowl there, and stroking it. Jowl? I don't have jowls. I do, so so do you. <laughs> okay, then. But I'm not, I'm not jowly. I uh, I was yeah. thinking. It was it's a thinking maneuver. What are we talking about today? I'll tell you. We're talking about the fact that one week from today is your birthday. <gasps> it is. It is, pal. It is. I made it. Of course, Forty-two. Of course, when uh, when this episode airs it will be way past my birthday <laughs> this episode's gonna air holy shit yeah we should probably think about that yeah well yeah take that into consideration you fucking assholes <laughs> ah, dude i have no sense of time do you have anything to plug <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no me either <laughs> i said the, we- the weeping sores but outside of that i just <laughs> I found some moss outside on the building. That's all I utilize it for. <laughs> just shove it in. Just pack it in. <laughs> like some type of Tolkien ranger. <laughs> just shove it in. Just pack it in. Oh. <laughs> that would have been the best title for a mixtape that I used to give a girl in 1995. <laughs> just shove it in. Just pack it in. I don't know. It's a whole lot of just like uh, LD smooth. <laughs> it's not even a person I was trying to come up with something LL Cool J and JB Smooth in my head are two completely different people yeah oh god this is I, why you do two episodes in a row yeah I would uh, I would actually listen to LB Smooth actually that's going to be my new R&B name oh no dude I I'm patenting that character god I just have to spell it. it yeah that's not don't fair. worry he's going to be some matter of rapper who also uh, traps and hunts so, so just me. Yeah, well, there's a shocking lack of rappers who rap about uh, trapping squirrels. We should Google that. There has to be one. Oh my God, how great would that be? I mean, there there is a whole there's a whole um, barnyard full of redneck rappers now. Uh, we have to find a guy who. Traps and hunts specifically squirrels, <laughs> and have him on the show and have him rap about that. Okay, a rapper who hunts squirrels. If if anyone listening has any line on this, please or could fake it because who's going to come at you for it? Please contact me on on Twitter at at poundsmith two. Because I want to know. I love it. It's Poundsmith 2. Yeah. Somebody took Poundsmith. Somebody took Poundsmith 1. You're the third Poundsmith. Well, but it, no, it is because uh, I'm named after my dad. And so I'm I'm the second and not junior. God damn it. Quit taking away my jokes and making them make me feel bad about myself. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Look, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, oh, hey, 
You were supposed to tell me about cuddling fish. Yeah, um, so uh, the easiest way is with whiskey. <laughs> the hardest part is getting the roofies in there. <laughs> and they really, they, they don't want to watch Mama's Family. No, so I bought cuttlefish at, um, for, it was... In for Thailand, I understand, yeah. No, at an Asian market. I, 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 at, they look kind of somewhere in between um, a squid and a mistake. <laughs> and I thought that you could just like kind of grab it by the head where the tentacles are and yank and then stuff it's like looks like calamari and I, that's yeah, I that was my idea that's uh, exactly the <laughs> the instructions I gave my first girlfriend here's the thing you're, you're gonna be shocked by this I did no research I uh, just went head first into I could stuff cuttlefish I'm looking at it how hard could this be I was wrong. Um, if you just grab it by the, the head and the tentacles and yank, what you make is a mess. Um, and you ruin your shoes. Which is exactly that, what we discovered. Yeah. Uh, long story short, I, I just I stuffed it with pork that I had, uh, ground pork, um, with like sage and like just like very like the wrong kind of herbs. And I put it on the grill. Uh, at really high heat for two hours. I had been drinking, and it was my birthday. Um, what I did was, have you ever been anywhere near a boxcar that a handful of hobos were utilizing as a sex club? Yes. Okay, it smelled exactly like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. I used to work for the railroad, remember? <laughs> Excellent. Yes, it smelled like that and tasted like that and charcoal. Great. The the uh, every train had a uh, a hobo orgy hub. <laughs> Is that true? I mean, not every train, but <laughs> if you a were solid, lucky, a solid handful, and that's a unit of measurement. You're going back. You see a boxcar open. You let out a yeah a, a holler. Of, hey, are you in there fucking? Or are you planning on beating me to death with an axe handle? <laughs> and if you don't get an answer... <laughs> Is that the sound of a coin flipping? <laughs> <laughs> Dale, take a look at him. Is he cute? It was so goddamn chewy and charred and bad. And I had no plan. It's one of those where, like, you have a little bit of pride because you were so excited about it. Uh -huh. put it oh, it's not that bad if you cut around the edges and don't smell it and, like, just go for the middle and then, ooh, it's oozing. Yeah, it was it was real gross. Oozing? Yeah, there was a thing in there. I have no idea what it was. My God. Ugh. Yeah, it was disgusting. Uh, mm, so there was no cuddling that night? Not with her. <laughs> Uh, I had all this <laughs> pounds of innards of cuttlefish. They're fucking gross. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I, I can't even... My I God. Went, I went to a store where cuttlefish were on sale. Do you realize what's wrong with me? <laughs> had you... Had you seen it like on, on a television program and you're like, it's I want to make some cuttlefish? This is... It's been a long... Uh, it's the weirdest impulse buy ever. It's like, you know, you go to Target, like, ah, fuck it, I'll get some licorice. No, I was like, ah, look at that, the cuttlefish is on sale. Give me seven, and then I'm going to stub that with pork and then ruin my family with it. <laughs> you know, I haven't had explosive diarrhea in a week. I should probably. <laughs> it is weekly at this point. No, but, like, <laughs> legit, it was, it, it was, was, it was a problem. And then... I force people to try it, and then you just go, so pizza? No, nobody wants to eat anymore, ever. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't it, smell like like rot and charcoal. Rot and charcoal? Yeah. That's exactly the scent that uh, of that cologne that Johnny Depp is trying to hawk. And it's a callback from, we're going to say a week ago for you, Pete. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da 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 comedy. We're gonna bury this hooker. <laughs> Oops, I strangled 
a supermodel with my scarves. I really thought you were going to go into a Britney Spears from like 20 years ago. I... Oops, I strangled a whore. <laughs> I did it again. I'm kind of Paul Anka, but we're going with it. <laughs> you went from Paul Anka to Ethel Merman at the end. I know. This is how you adore a topic. All right. We haven't talked about the topic yet, have we? It, what is it, 10 minutes in? It's about that time. Yeah, we're about 15, yeah. God, does anybody listen to the shit giving a damn? All right, I, rock and roll. I hope not. I hope that I hope <laughs> that no one tunes in going, ooh, this episode is about, you know what, I'll, I'll use today's topic. Ooh, this episode's about the history of pneumatic tubes. I can't wait to learn this. What the fuck are you talking about? Pneumatic tubes, man. They're cool. Are you serious? I love pneumatic tubes. I think they're fascinating. Pneumatic tubes. You know what a pneumatic tube is? Yeah, it's the like 1950s. It's the, 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 the goddamn mailroom. You put the thing in, it goes... And yeah. then it shoots it up to the, the fifth floor. Yeah, yeah, and the banks still use them. Okay. Well, when you... Well, you know what? I you like to, live uh, in a walking yeah. city. You live in a walking city. I'm sure you go in and do your banking... At the at the counter, we. Uh, I do not. I do it on my phone. What type of witchcraft are you <laughs> trying to lay upon me? I I, I went into a, a bank the other day just to get cash, and it was distasteful to me. So you robbed the place, gotcha. <laughs> if I did, we wouldn't be doing this garbage. I'd be in Guatemala going, "Hey, how much for that?" Um, <laughs> His name is Juan. No, not today. All right. I'm in a walking city. Okay, so you have to, you still drive up to a... Okay, all right. All right, hold on. Okay, in the before times. Okay, yeah, thank you. In the before times when I could still do comedy shows. Uh-huh. Um, sometimes it is uh, paid by check, and sometimes it is paid um, in sex, and sometimes... It is cash. Not that I want... And I report all of my earnings on my taxes. Um, yeah, sometimes it's just like five bucks. You know, it's a slow night at the at the old comedy show. But I have report to... Report that. I have Obviously. To, yeah. I have, to, uh, I have to deposit that. And instead of going inside of the building, I just go up through the drive-thru. And there's still, you get the, the container out, you drop your stuff with your deposit slip, you put it right in, you hit the button that says go or send, and with a little arrow, and it goes, and then it goes away, and I every time go, and I clap, and it's delightful. Uh, okay, brother. Uh, as a man who hates technology, who, myself... Uh, I, I detest technology. I, I, I didn't realize that that was still a thing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's it's still you can in deposit, use. You can deposit cash into an ATM. You can deposit I've been using the wrong machine. I've been using the ATM machine, the, which is very different than an ATM. Uh, help me out. Ask to mouth. <laughs> There's a machine for that. Anytime, anytime. Honestly, if, I know you didn't do it, but if anyone says, "Oh yeah, I just got to stop the ATM machine," I'm like, "You're getting, you're stopping at an ass to mouth machine." It took me forever to get over that too. Yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah. So, but yeah, did you know? 1799. That's <laughs> that's when the pneumatic tube began. Here we go. That's when they were relevant. Pneumatic tubes. <laughs> 1700s. Holy shit. 1799, built by William Murdoch. What a cool name. <laughs> I like that this... I just, you are going to just shove history down my taint. I love it. <laughs> William Murdoch, you're never going to fucking forget that, you cunt. <laughs> take it. You take William Murdoch all take the way. William Murdoch. God damn it. <laughs> That's why I shit my pants constantly because I'm taking William Murdoch. What I what I love he's he's the guy that came up with it. The guy's name in 1854, Josiah 
Vladimir Clark was issued a patent for, quote, conveying letters or parcels between places by the pressure of air and vacuum. Boy, who hasn't been there? I've conveyed my package through vacuums before. <laughs> it just seems like astronauts who found weird ways to jerk off. <laughs> Well, we're floating up here. What do you want to do? Well, I'm not touching it again. It was weird. I'm going to pee in slash fuck the Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a rib job from this Dyson over here. Tee hee. <laughs> you, you can't get boners in space. I could. <laughs> uh, what do you mean you can't get boners in space? Because of the, the pressure, it doesn't allow the... Uh, the 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 blood to flow correctly. Oh shit! Now like now, now like in lower at, like so when we just leave the atmosphere but we're still within Earth's pull because there was that me, whole you and me yeah you and me <laughs> we did that whole porn. <laughs> oh, and it makes so much sense now. But th did you ever see that that uh, fine adult film that was Probably. made? Where in zero gravity, so they had just broken the Earth's atmosphere, but they were still close enough. And no, actually, uh, they had zero gravity sex, and then went pff, back down. It was pretty fascinating, actually, for science. And by science, I mean my dick. <laughs> and by science, I mean we need to go buy more tissues. <laughs> uh, nah, 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 nah. Thank you. This episode brought to you by Kleenex. Yes, Kleenex. <laughs> Kleenex. Yeah, you know what you're using it for. How do you jerk off in space, pussy? <laughs> but yeah, when you get further out into into space, it affects the the blood flow, and apparently you can't get a boner. But like, if you are near something with a gravitational pull, it somehow changes the the whole physiology, and you can you can get boners again. Cite your source. My buddy Tom Brown. <laughs> he does a great bit about it. He is a he's a St. Louis comic, and he has actually done the research. That's the thing. Say my buddy dot dot dot. <laughs> this guy who lives in the alley. His name is Big Dick Pete. What he says is you can't get an erection in in space. He also wants to know why this chicken smells this way. <laughs> he's been fucking it for a week. He can't figure it out. I'm in space. I'm just throwing rope at this goddamn bird. <laughs> this, this bird. Oh, damn it. I was going to do a dad joke and I stopped myself. Uh, see, you, you hesitate. Well, yes. I just didn't want you to make fun of me for making another dad joke. Oh, God, that's all I do. I have nothing else. Because I was going to say, man. I have to live in this body. This, this, I was about to say, man, this, this bird smells foul. Oh. oh, yeah, no, I, I stand corrected. You were wrong to not do that. I, yeah, yeah, I should have just, mm, I'm going to cut this entire scene. <laughs> God. I, I'm going to dub over with a better joke that I come up with. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. What do you think? <laughs> That's a good joke. And then enter a laugh track and be like, man. <laughs> From like all in the family, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I uh, just I, I'm just gonna have it actually be um, when Norm comes in on Cheers. That's gonna be our left track. <laughs> Norm, <laughs> Norm, what? The f what? That doesn't even fucking make sense. <laughs> no, it's also definitely copyright infringement. But who cares? Like they're gonna, we're, no one's gonna give a shit what we do. Not no. for a while. Not forever. What? Like like, uh, like uh, if we cite our sources, I can't. Right? As long as we cite our sources. I, I'm happy to uh, acknowledge that I have no idea how that works. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a lawyer. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Your response should be, no shit. <laughs> if there is a look that isn't lawyer, it's us. <laughs> Can you imagine, though, if... <laughs> not even like country lawyer, not even like bullshit bottom of the class lawyer in like uh, suits that you got from Goodwill that are three sizes too big. Because <laughs> that's all they had. We're not even that. No, like I just imagine if 
So if, if it was a TV show, and someone leans over, where's my lawyers? We got the two best lawyers our money could buy. <laughs> and it just, we walk, we come shuffling in in flip-flops <laughs> and these t-shirts that we're currently wearing. Fucking work for Funyuns and Zagnuts at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going to get you out of this mess, but it's going to cost you. Oh, you name a price. Any pr oh, I ain't talking money. We just want some intense eye contact and spit on your hand first. What? You heard me. And co-counsel just says, I would say run. <laughs> Look, Seriously, just south until you can't go south no more. Once it gets cold, you're there. <laughs> here's, here's a strategy that's worked for us every time. We'll cause a distraction. <laughs> I, and then I'll throw I'm going to throw the little guy at the bailiff <laughs> while, while he's fumbling with him you make a break for it it's worked every time kid. Keep going. you know what's legal in El Salvador mostly everything everything <laughs> they'll be fine they won't find you then <laughs> just steal somebody's wallet that looks like they've got a hundred bucks and you'll live like a king <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and scene. Mm -hmm. So, uh, keep singing the praises of 1995 technology of pneumatic tubes and banks. 1799! <laughs> <laughs> I, right. I honestly assumed it was a 50s thing. They were like, hey, you know what would be great? If I could send up this brassiere to the, to the secretary that I'm fucking up on, up on 8 real quick. Put this on and get ready, honey. You thought they utilized tubes to send um, lingerie? In the 50s? 100%. Was that ever in Mad Men? Because that's all I know about that era. I have no idea. I never Let's watched Mad Men. Mad Men? Mad Men. Mad Men. I, I don't know. I never watched Mad Men. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, it's because I'm drinking Blue Mountain Dew and fucking vodka. It writes itself, Smith. Mm. Cheers. This is the issue of doing two episodes in a row. <laughs> we just... Oh, man. I wish I had done a shot while I was upstairs. Oh, I did a shot um, while we were done. Uh, I have a really, really shitty rum inside a decanter. Nice. Yeah. This is where I put the vodka to. Ah, uh, for those of you at home, he's indicating very high on his glass. <laughs> and it's a very tall glass. Uh -huh. It's my favorite glass. And it's still very blue. It's Windex blue, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, what's funny, like I said, Glenn bought this stuff, and then right when we were on our break, um, which sounded like we broke up for like a little bit, just to get things sorted out. <laughs> 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 Me and Glenn were on a break for a while. <laughs> but uh, I just, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not sure this father son thing's going to work out. Uh -huh. um, but he sent me a, a meme that had the Blue Mountain Dew sitting next to a glass of the Blue Mountain Dew sitting next to a glass of Windex, and it looked exactly the same. <laughs> it's real close, bro. Yeah. It's probably the same chemicals, just with more sugar. That actually kind of tracks. Yeah. I could probably clean a mirror with this. It's going to be cleaning the insides of me. <laughs> well, in one way or another. 1799. Uh -huh. Somebody came up with that shit in 1799. Right. Okay. I'm just assuming they had a they had a, a, an indentured servant sitting on the other side of it just going... <sighs> and blowing real hard to get it... <laughs> and, yeah, actually, Send this across the street. How do you get the airflow to keep, like, rolling like that? Um, boy, that's oh, a... Go so back to your research in air quotes. It is, uh, uh, yeah. It can get up to 25 feet per second. <laughs> Way to deflect. You should be in politics. <laughs> Uh, at the same time, varying air pressures allow capsules to break slowly, 
removing the jarring arrival that used to characterize earlier systems and make them unsuitable for fragile content. Who's sending the fragile contents via pneumatic tube? It's either lingerie or possibly eggs. I have no idea. <laughs> we gotta get these eggs up to 12. <laughs> Too sweet! Put them in there. Do we need a cushioning? Nah, nah, nah. It's the mag tube. See? seventy ninety nine. The man ordered scrambled eggs. Send them to the top. Send them to the top. Ooh, God. We're going to have to rinse this bitch out. <laughs> and other phrases set around the office in the 1950s. <laughs> or 1799. Mm. Can you imagine 1799? I can barely imagine 2020 because I haven't seen it. <laughs> I I used to do things. I used to be somebody. <laughs> yeah. We went to a, a brewery for 4th of July yesterday. Uh, we went at 2. Because mm -hmm. they have seatings at 2. And uh, 5 and 7. Or whatever the hell it was. 2 and 4. No, 2 and 4 and 6. Uh, they kick you out every uh, 30 minutes. And you're allowed to sit at a table in a parking lot. And have a couple of beers. And then they kick you out. And then they do another seating. We did the saddest bar hop ever. We like kept like calling ahead, like, "Oh, can you put us in?" Okay, uh, we went to another place and then, uh, while doing it with uh, basically panties on our head, masks. I'm sorry, masks. Masks. Yes. Yeah. They just say face coverings, by the way. So my thought is, if you can get a, a decent pair, like you can't do a thong, but granny panties, like, and you can have it like over your 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 head like that. Yeah. It would basically cover all requirements, no? It would. Absolutely it would. And you'd look like Deadpool. <laughs> I'm just coming up with a new uh, million dollar idea. Call, call me Panty Pool. <laughs> It'd be really big in Japan. I really uh, like that shit. You know, it's funny. You mentioned Japan. You know who's a big fan of pneumatic tubes? Say Japan. <laughs> J not Japan. I don't know. There's not one. I'm I'm assuming. Ooh, with this technology, time critical items can be transported, such as tissue samples. Transferred from where to where? That's a great question. Why would you send it via pneumatic tube? We can just have an orderly hit the elevator and go where he needs to go. Well, I, I'm not going to poo poo the idea. I'm just curious what the upside was because like it only works inside one building right i know nothing about this so i could be totally wrong well i know in in the 1800s the reason that they started utilizing the pneumatic tubes was for the london stock exchange and they could go across the street from each other okay. and send information i were which, I, again, in the 1800s, they were able to do that. I think that's fascinating. That makes sense. Now, I would that just, if, if I had access... Well, you bank currently. Yes, it is. <laughs> Send the... Please, fill my, my accounts in 1853, 54, and 58. I don't like those other years. I would just send dildos if I, <laughs> if I worked in an office... <laughs> <laughs> Just like a shock and awe kind of thing. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's a big rubber deck. Uh, why? Be I don't know. <laughs> you just roll it over because Jesus loves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It just says Goodyear on the side. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> it, un it unfurled. I would say unfolded, but it unfurled when it hit. It unfurled. And at the end side it said Rockefeller Rubber Company. <laughs> <laughs> Hud Sucker Enterprises. <laughs> what the fuck? It says play school. That's gross. <laughs> That's weird. S K O O L. That's going to be big. Prove it. <laughs> well, just look at it. <laughs> Larry, you have to stop sending these via pneumatic tube. Come on, it's funny. Yeah, the last one you sent popped out and knocked. At these tooth out. You gotta knock it off. <laughs> All I do is send big rubber dicks to pneumatic tubes. <laughs> and that's what they pay me for. It is so not. Please. You know that that's not what you got hired for, right? No. Uh, 
not know that, and until it's proven to me, I refuse to believe it. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me, I have this whole bin full of rubber dicks <laughs> that I, I gotta, gotta send up to the top floor. I gotta send this fucker up to Simmons on 35. <laughs> He likes this with a little lipstick around the head. <laughs> I like to write little, Dearest Simmons, <laughs> please enjoy for whatever application you would like. Remember, you can hear the sucking sounds through the thin walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite part. I don't judge Larry. None of this means anything. Pneumatic tubes. Yeah, man. Just, uh... So where, um, in your research, would you see the future of pneumatic tubes going? Um, I think there's going to be, especially if, if, um, you know, we get a resurgence of coronavirus, and there's now a new potential, like, swine flu pandemic for, coming out of China, yeah. which is fun. So we'll all just be stuck in our homes forever and ever, and I can completely see that we would just be sending things to each other via pneumatic tube. Um, things such as um, some uh -huh. like uh, uh, house slippers and, and uh, 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 postcards that we've made ourselves. Um, seven layer salads. I could see us sending that. There's a whole like pneumatic tube and S&M gear. It, it seems like the freaks and uh, basically Etsy are <laughs> going to be dealing with the pneumatic tubes. Like, uh, here you go. This is a homemade sex swing, uh, you know, out of a uh, bamboo. <laughs> it's sustainable. It's constantly just like pneumatic tubes, just shit coming down Amazon. <laughs> pump, pump. Jesus Christ, keep the dog away from it. <laughs> You gotta stop sending us shit. I love you. I just want you to have things. You have to stop. It killed the dog and it sprained my wife's ankle. Um, was it Futurama where people like were transported through said pneumatic tubes? Was it? I don't remember. We drank a lot when we were watching Futurama. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah, uh, we being a people. Well, I, yeah, I, I guess so. I just assumed you and I watched it together and got drunk. <laughs> Pretty much, I assume that all of our memories involved, so we were drinking. I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I just don't want to go through this shit sober. Do you? I don't see the point. No. I don't either. Like, like I understand... For, for my, my, my niece's confirmation, I should be sober-ish. Like, yeah. I shouldn't be heckling the priest. However. Uh, you sure? I'm not sure, but apparently okay. it would cause some problems if I were that way again. Um <laughs> That was the one thing my my stepmom and God love her. I, I do I love her. she and I have a great relationship. But when when uh, my little sister and her fiance said, "Hey, will you do the ceremony when we get married?" Everyone was so concerned that I was just going to be an asshole about yeah. it, and I took it super seriously. Yeah, did I write some jokes and throw them in there? Absolutely. But it wasn't like, oh, take a load of, uh, get a load of this fat fuck over here. Oh boy, you think you're gonna, oh, this guy's gonna be fucking my sister. Uh, I will, I will, but I, I threw some humor in there. But as we finish and we were, you know, wedding party goes out, you know, bride and groom wedding party. I'm walking up by myself. I've got my, my binder under my arm with, with the ceremony in it. And as I'm walking, one of the Willow had had gotten my my bottle of Jameson out of the car, <laughs> and just like like it was a relay race on the way out, she just held it up and I snagged it. And as I'm walking out, I just pop the top and start just chugging because they're, they're like, "Come get pictures," and I'm like, "I am no longer have obligated to be sober or appropriate anymore." Fuck you, people! I'm out. 
The man of the cloth has moistened the cloth. <laughs> well, that was the other. They were like, would you mind saying grace? And I was like, I'm half a bottle of Jameson in. Absolutely. I've seen Jesus twice already. I see no reason why not to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they were, they, they were, there, was, there was some nervousness, because they know that I have issues with sobriety. <laughs> you angrily did air quotes. I don't, wow. I don't like sobriety. Uh, this is about to get real sad. In what way? No. <laughs> Did you know Paris used a major network of uh, pneumatic tubes until 1984? I did know that. Actually, I did my dissertation on that. What? No, of course not. What did uh, they send uh, through pneumatic tubes? Um, I'm assuming uh, cigarettes and ennui. <laughs> Extra points if you can spell ennui. E-N-N-U-I. Shit, you might be right. I think I might be. Yeah. I, I put I, I threw it, uh, that extra in in there because I'm not sure. Are we... Um... <laughs> are the... What's that? What are we doing, buddy? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I forget that you're mobile. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just a... Uh... There it what, is. What do you mean? There it is. I don't understand the... Uh... The problem. Well, it's not like you can see the dick. <laughs> Which is my greatest disappointment. Oh, see, and that's on you. Yeah. I just wanted to see where the bumps had gotten to. <laughs> <laughs> I would say impressive. <laughs> One of them I've named. I'm just trying to see how far we can go with this. <laughs> This is a comically long... There it is. I really, really sincerely wish this was not just me. Hold on. Do you have prostate issues? What's going on? Not to my knowledge, but I don't go to doctors. <laughs> Do you so. want me to check it out next time we're together? <sighs> not the same way you did last time. <laughs> I'll spit on it first. <laughs> you kind of have to. Can I do that? And I'll nibble, I'll nibble your ear and tell you you're <laughs> pretty. You're special. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Problem solved. There it is. We can always edit this out if it's not funny. <laughs> well, I'm going to go back and listen to it. <laughs> Survey says he's urinating. <laughs> Boy, that's a pissing. Mm. You know what else you could send to pneumatic tubes? Oh my god, we're so... Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Piss. <laughs> yeah. Just I'm sure a, you can. Yeah. I'm, I think that's what, uh, that's what the Czech Republic used it for. <laughs> Alright, just hit me with some facts. I mean, you, you, you did all the facts, so hit me. Uh, in Prague, in the Czech Republic, the network extended approximately 37 miles. Uh-huh. That's the that was the only thing that the Czech Republic had. We have we have nothing to send through tube except piece of shit. But we have thirty seven miles of tube. The Pony Express was cute and then we uh, just made tubes and then um, that was the budget. So everybody else eats turnips and dies. <laughs> we could I don't know if that's an accurate um, <laughs> accent or not. A nondescript Eastern European? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite accent. The nondescript Eastern European. That's how you know an action movie is going to be good. When the hero meets like the first round of thugs and they're like, mm, Get him. Do, do not let him get away with microchip or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, you're like, just... oh, this is going to be a banger. Somebody's going to get their teeth knocked in. <laughs> it could be from... Uh, uh... I don't know. I just want to say Ukraine. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I just need you to be nondescript. Because that's the thing. When you hear like, call Vladimir in. And it's just like some dude that blots out the sun. And you know that the hero is going to be able to take him. But you're like, how is he going to do it? This guy's a big dude. He's going to hurt him. 
just sloping forehead. He's eaten nothing but like beets and meat for his entire life. <laughs> and what type of meat? No one knows. It's just meat. No. We have to give it to him. Raw. <laughs> it's a, and a lot of it. <laughs> what kind of meat? Off the bone. <laughs> He, we tried to cook it once. He refused. He killed the guy that brought it and ate him. He was eight. He enjoys his meat in a puddle. <laughs> so, if it doesn't make a huge stain that ruins his shoes, eh, he's going to have an issue. Huge stain that ruins your shoes. The title of my sex life through high school. <laughs> Aww, but, yeah. 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 Well, thank God I'm getting drunk because I have to go to work tomorrow for the first time in three months. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling about that? I do not care, nor no. Uh, by work, I mean go to table. Oh, because you're still working from home. Oh, yeah, for at least two months. Um, I kind of don't remember what I do for a living. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be awkward since my direct boss, who I like, He's not coming back either. He's on furlough still. So I don't know what I do. Good luck. You'll figure it out, buddy. <laughs> it's fine. I, mean, I was making it up beforehand. Right. The problem is I was making it up beforehand with a decent knowledge of the technology and the tools. I was like, oh, shit. It's been a couple months. <laughs> uh, let me just hit this button. Ooh. We just sold a bunch of that. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I just I just sent dildos through a pneumatic tube, I think. <laughs> In what? Wait, Czechia? Where? <laughs> Czech Republic. I demand you tell me the difference. D different consonants. Uh, no, it's not. Czech Republic and Chechnya. Same continent. No, I said consonants. Oh, <laughs> consonants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's spelled different, and the people are completely different. Gotcha. No, in Czech Republic, they talk like this. And in uh, Chechnya, they talk like this. <laughs> I can see, it's very subtle, but I see that. Yeah. We're, I just lost all of all of our fans in the Czech Republic and Chechnya. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Vlad. <laughs> I just... I, I, yeah, I always love when... When the hero in an action movie has to fight the big guy, because you know, you know, you're like, oh, the big guy's coming. And then when the hero, who's been like this Iron Man badass, fists of steel, doing damage to everybody around, like fighting off twenty dudes, and he goes up and he hits the big guy, and his hand just bounces off of him. You're like, that, okay. I mean, I get it. He's a big dude, but we're. Was, were the rest of the bad guys just made of paper mache? What? <laughs> we send all these soft bone bad guys first. And that's what we do. Take take my soft, take these soft bone thugs, send them first, and then bring in Vlad. We give him full sense of security, and then we bring in giant, g giant meat eater. Vlad just beats him with his dick. <laughs> Which is the weirdest way for a 007 movie to end. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, the 007 used his dick quite a bit. Yeah, but only for good. Well, not for good so much as for interesting. <laughs> I think he was just running experiments on uh, with STDs. <laughs> what can I contract and what can I make super? We're going to play this game called What Doesn't Ooze. <laughs> what can we cure? <laughs> Nine out of ten. Well, I guess that's not bad. <laughs> Nine out of ten STD says, eh, that's your fault. <laughs> Just milk it before you start. <laughs> oh, God. Back to front like a tube of toothpaste. Don't send it back into your body. That was actually the worst bare naked ladies album ever. Back Just to milk front. It. No, milk it before you start. <laughs> milk it was the title of all of their albums. Well, I don't know. I kind of like those guys. I don't hate. I make a joke. I like bare naked ladies. 
<laughs> and, the, and the band is good too. <laughs> there you go. That was the most Chechnya thing ever. I don't know. I like those guys. You know. <laughs> I had you know. I'm I make joke, but I I I like you know, I like. <laughs> I, you know, I, I make joke, but I clean up afterwards with wipes. <laughs> I say, Ugh, uh, and then we all laugh. <laughs> we all laugh, we slip around in it. <laughs> it's a lot. I save it up for two weeks. <laughs> it's considered... It's considered the money in my country. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, we should rename this podcast, none of this is usable. <laughs> in 1864 in Liverpool, oh my God. Yeah. Uh-huh. connecting the Electric and International Telegraph Company, telegraph stations in Castle Street, Water Street, and the Exchange Buildings, pneumatic tubes. And what information did they send back and forth, Larry? Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Rudimentary. <laughs> Rudimentary research. <laughs> we are by no means uh, experts on anything. <laughs> I think we're experts on how to damage our livers. <laughs> Here's some bullshit, uh, random facts that I just basically picked up on Wikipedia. Uh, if you have any follow-up questions, I would direct you to my uh, ball sack. <laughs> follow-up questions can be sent to to my butt crack at gmail.com. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go see if we can get that email. Because that will be... <laughs> follow-up questions and complaints can be kiss my puckered anus at gmail.com. I tell you what, at Yahoo, I guarantee you it's available. It's not at... Uh, you know what? I wonder if we can still get an AOL. <laughs> Whatever's clever. Or uh, at uh, uofi.edu. <laughs> you know, I'll check with NPR and see if I can get a... Uh, <laughs> a, a, a state, an NPR um, email address. Sure. Kiss my dick shaft at NPR. dot <laughs> org. It's salty and we know it. Clap your hands. <laughs> at NPR. It's salty and we know it. You got the clap. <laughs> Giggling about bullshit. These are the promises we made to our listeners. Absolutely. D-plus effort. Yeah. With D-plus effort on the, uh, <laughs> exactly as the, uh, as we intended with all of our research through everything we've ever done. All our schooling. Mm, phoning it in. <laughs> At best. At best. But we will try to make each other giggle. And I just assume that that will make other people giggle. <sighs> Only time will tell. Or lawsuits. What are they going to get? I got nothing. You got that bullshit on the wall that makes me puke? Yeah, they can have all of that. And my There's like three left. I don't want any more. And my raccoon skin cap. <laughs> Is it real raccoon? Um, I don't know. I bought it in a gas station in, in Michigan. So, No. Because I thought it would be hilarious. So you have a faux coonskin cap that was bought in a gas station. Uh, in Michigan, yes. In Michigan, yeah. Um, I, uh, I got Nicole... David Crockett, you are not. <laughs> I actually, though, as a kid, I had a, a raccoon skin cap. And I used to get the... When we would go raccoon hunting... We would remove the tails and attach it to my raccoon skin cap. Wait. When you remove the tails from... Raccoons? Actual raccoons. So you had a multi-raccoon tailed cap? Yeah. Okay, I'm not alone trying to figure out what the fuck's going on here. Okay, sure. What? Uh... What, what, staple gun? We talking... <laughs> yeah, right into the skull. That would explain. <laughs> Twist ties from a bag of fucking Wonder Bread? Like, what, do I, what, what are we doing here? No, it just, you would sew them on. Ah. So you had, like, raccoon 
dreads at one point? Yes, I had raccoon dreads. We have to be very careful how we say this. I <laughs> Okay, fair. But no. <laughs> Tell me something else about fucking tubes. <laughs> um, I, I honestly, I think a uh, a full grown raccoon could fit into a pneumatic tube. Oh, so like, could you? Would you have to like spatchcock it like a chicken? <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna kink shame you, buddy. You do whatever you want to. I'm just saying that you could probably he could probably just squish in. Uh-huh. With like you could probably put like a little helmet on him for safety and then he'd give you a little like salute, like top gun style. I have no idea what's going on anymore. What? I just want to send somebody a raccoon <laughs> through a tube. <laughs> through it's a pneumatic tube. Impossibly. And we would call it a coonmatic tube. <laughs> a coonmatic tube. And possibly Chechnya. And that would be a lovely way to have dinner. It's like mm- Oh, hey, there's coon pudding. All right. Let's, let's take the spatula. No, no, not the rigid one. You need the one with the, the rubber one. Get, get, and just get all that coon out of there. Just scrape around the edges. Okay? All right? What do you mean, how do you prepare it? You obviously boil it. So you boil it, and then you take all of the um, unnecessary coonness out of the... No, no, hey, you send that back. You put that too, but you send it back. How does it come one way or the other way? I don't know. It just does. You put it in the goddamn thing. <laughs> it's just back to the to the Kremlin, possibly. <laughs> give it a rinse first, please. Give, give it a, a rinse. rinse. Yeah. Uh, okay. Get the get the real good silicone spatula and scrape up all that coon. <laughs> all right. And uh, so we make the mold. Make the jello mold of the of the coon. It did not make the the the, the journey well. No. It was, it was very broken. We can't actually roast this. No. No. This is more of a seven-layer coon at this point. You're going to eat it with chips and hot <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hot sauce? Yes, obviously. Yeah. What have you got? Uh, we got some uh, ketchup with sriracha in it. How do you think? Fine. Whatever, whatever you, whatever is available... Cover it in this because we have seven layer coon dip, uh, and it only got that way because of the travels. It was thirty seven miles, according to Larry's uh, research. <laughs> thirty seven miles in pneumatic tube. Poor little guy didn't make it, and still used today in country ass banks. <laughs> I live in a in a mid sized city. We still you have Springfield, Illinois. It's a mid sized city. You still have pneumatic tubes. You're still putting, like, things in there. Like, I guarantee you, <laughs> in Chicago, there are pneumatic tubes being used right now. Mostly for sex stuff. It's entirely possible, but, uh, like... You can put money, you can put checks into an ATM. But why, when I can use a pneumatic tube... Uh, I mean, <laughs> you have a point. When you can just utilize something that could possibly give you a blowjob, you want to do that because you're like, uh, I can put my wee wee in there. Whoop! <laughs> exactly. I'm not about to. Uh, I'm not about to ask uh, the, uh, the the homeless dude that lives behind the bank to hold on to my money if he would just, you know, that joke didn't go anywhere. I'm cutting that. I'm actually going to cut that. <laughs> I knew where I wanted to go, and then my brain went, follow me! And I went, okay, oh, nope, that's that's a weird place. A guy who lives behind a bank, and what happens? Uh, just something about fisting and... <laughs> blowing money in my own butthole. I don't know. I don't know where my brain decided we were going to go, but we went. <laughs> Fantastic. So the worst... So the same time I bought this... this coonskin cap in Michigan. I found a denim oh, cap. F-A-U-X faux coonskin cap. <laughs> oh, fox coonskin cap. Um, oh. Right? Fox? I found a denim cap with all this pink lettering 
with like a giant M that says Michigan girl. <laughs> and I bought it for Nicole and was like, hey, I came out of the gas station wearing this coonskin cap. And so proud of myself with with all of them about treats, and I was like, "Oh, I got you something." She's like, "You did," and I handed her this Michigan girl denim cap. She was like, oh, "Fuck you! Why?" <laughs> I was like, "Look, you don't appreciate the gifts I give you. Fine. Now I'm a Michigan girl. I buy this for you because you wouldn't buy it for yourself. Yeah, so I buy this and pregnancy tests and." Well, like I told her, we were traveling through northern Michigan. Northern Michigan in a Prius. Do you know the there's a surprising amount of Confederate flags being flown off of single wide trailers in not quite northern Michigan? Huh. It's not it's very unsettling. And I was like, we got to fit in. So I figure we can if some if if we get stopped somehow by like just a, a some redneck coalition, not even like a police force. They don't even have them up there. They just have I'm assuming a coalition because we're driving a Prius. If I'm wearing a coonskin cap and you're wearing a hat, a denim cap that says Michigan girl, they're gonna stop us and we'll be like. Uh, yeah, I took this sledgehammer, beat the hell out of the people driving it. <laughs> Stole this car. And we just want to see how far it'll go. So far, all the way. And they'll go, right on, brother. We high five. And then we sing the the Northern Michigan uh, National Anthem, which is Kid Rock's uh, summer theme. And ball with the bod, ball with the bod, bang to bang boogie. Said, and you got you got to do this. It's the very specific salute. And then uh, they let us drive off. And then uh, I, I was very, I was prepared. I was prepared. Wearing a faux gas station purchased coonskin cap. Yeah. Drinking blue Mountain Dew. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. You've damn near killed your second one of those. Jesus Christ, dude. It looks like Mr. Clean's abortion. That's exactly what I look like. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Hey, buddy. <laughs> the hanger scraped a little bit too close. <laughs> I just held on to it and they drug me out. <laughs> Lord. You ain't gonna get me, you sons of bitches. Not again. <laughs> Hook me once, shame on you. Hook me twice, shame on me. Hey, what did we learn today? Um, pneumatic tubes are a thing that you care about, and I really don't understand the point anymore. Of this show or pneumatic tubes? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What else did we learn today? banking in Springfield is weird. You, you could just... Oh, God. Look, I used to just wrap my money around an arrow and send it <laughs> across <laughs> the plains. <laughs> it was some matter of just Cherokee prayer. <laughs> Chase Bank. <laughs> And then you just hear an eagle just, ah! That's not an eagle sound. I don't know what that is. But it's a Which, if I'm honest, if it was like uh, just, just actual like Native American people, I would trust their systems over ours any day. Fuck anyway. yes! <laughs> Sorry, I just thought, just the, thoo, with the arrow, and then, ah! And then you see the eagle plummet to the ground. <laughs> with like 38 bucks falling from it. It's like, oh, God. Well, happily enough, the bald eagle is no longer endangered. <laughs> that was an accident. I do apologize. I'm going to spatchcock this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the recorder is about to run out of memory. What did you learn? What did I learn? I learned, th uh, I learned that even though you came from a smaller town than me, you still see me as more redneck. 
Oh, then, God, I'm so sorry. No, why are you sorry? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> what I, I loved, so when we were hanging out with uh, with Donnie B, he, I said, oh, I pulled out a, uh, a High Life. No, sorry, I pulled out a Coors Light. I had High Life and Coors Light in case I wanted to get fancy. But I pulled out a Coors Light, and he goes, oh, that's just redneck beer. And I was like, well, Don, he goes, I know, you're a redneck, but you're an educated redneck, and that's why I love you. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> that's So that's what I learned. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. This has uh, been uh, the history of pneumatic tubes with, uh, with the of. professor of... Of dipshittery, Larry Smith, and his teaching assistant, Ziggy. I'm itchy. <laughs> God, I love that. Hey, I love you, buddy. Love you too, pal. <laughs>